Okay, in this tutorial we're going to give you a brief demonstration on DEX and some of the common settings that you can do. First of all, we have DEX open up here. And for general um, settings, sound cards, skins, etc., you need to go over and press the options. Now, this will move around the screen depending on the skin that you're in, and we'll get into that in just a second. But once again, as soon as you click on options, we have a whole bunch of um, things here that you can do. First of all, if we hit the console, the console is basically DEX's information page. It will show you the build number, which is right here. It will show your name, directories, if there's any controllers that are um, currently connected. And basically, there's also a debugging console here. So this is good for support and technical issues. We'll get out of that. And if we click on options again, you can show and hide the background, whether or not you do want to see the, the background um, desktop screen or not. You can show and hide your playlist. This is the, uh, the options page where you'll be doing most of your settings. There is a sampler for the sampler function inside DEX, where you can load different loops, um, sound effects, and all kinds of other goodies. You can also enable the record feature inside DEX. And these two options here are for building databases and for saving your tags. So let's get into the general options screen. Here is where you can choose your sound card. Um, right now we have it in direct sound. This would be the, the output driver. Here you can change from direct sound to ASIO if you do have an ASIO card installed. And the other main um, option here is your output mode. Now this is for those of you who do have a multi-channel sound card, i.e. the Gigaport or the Maya or some other multi-channel. The way that we have it set up right now is uh, output mode number one where your master would be the front output, the headphones would be the rear. And most times for uh, multi-channel sound cards, for those of you who are going into an external mixer, you would probably want to select option number three, which will give you player one front, player two rear. And if you're using an ASIO card, you would probably use output number four, which is player one, which will be output one, and then player two, which is output two. Now, I don't have a multi-channel sound card hooked up to this machine at this point, so we're just going to use the straight direct sound with the master out. Here you will change your sound card, select your appropriate sound card for your application. Uh, sampling rate is kind of an important thing. Right now it's at 48 kil um, 48,000 kilohertz. I like to change that to regular CD quality, which is 44.1. And the streaming mode is also important too. Um, it's, it's enabled by default for slower computers. However, if you have a, a, a recent machine with, uh, with a good amount of RAM, you more than likely would want to unclick the streaming mode so it puts everything into RAM. This bottom section is for time control. Here you can select your inputs. And also, if you want to apply software RIA uh, convert, uh, correction, this would be if you're plugging your uh, phono inputs directly into your sound card for your turntables. If you're using traditional turntables and you want to use the software correction, you would have to um, uh, check that. Kind of the difference between a line level and a phone level input, only you don't need a preamp. Now we'll go to the sound. Here you can select various um, of DEX's um, um, sound options and your record quality and stuff. The skins is also an important feature here. We have tons of skins enabled inside of DEX, and this is where you can choose the different one. Um, the 1982 dark side was the original deck skin, and you can see it as such. Um, for those of you who are migrating over from the VRM series, we have um, two uh, VRM skins. One is the original old PCDJ red skin, so you can see it kind of looks like old 5.2. Or we also have inside of it the PCDJ red VRM skin, which looks like 7.3 making it, trying to make it a little bit easier for those of you who may be migrating over from the, uh, the, the VRM um, series. We're going to go back to the, uh, the Dunks Dark Side skin. And next we'll go to the next option, which is the playlist. Okay, in this skin you can do um, 
you can move your columns around for your, your record case. Um, so there's more information on this inside of Dex's manual. And you can also check out um, the message board on PCDJ.com. There's a lot of talk inside the Dex form about how to change your playlist formats and your browser formats and customization, moving columns around, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Let's go to the General tab. Here you have various general options that you can use. Um, you're calculating your BPM. You want to probably disable the auto BPM matching. If you have this on, DEX will automatically move the, uh, the pitch sliders around for you. And um, we probably want to put that on by default. Here you can disable the crossfader. You can activate loops, auto cue. There's also different cue methods here. If you do the drop down box, there's a CDJ, a PCDJ AB and DJ Dex, which all has to deal with how the song cues. Um, some have stuttering in it when you're moving the uh, when you're moving a controller around or, the, or to, to find a cue point. So you may have to experiment with that to find which method that you like. The autoplay uh, crossfade is three fully automatic, which is the original. There's also a basic one where you can choose basic and then you can actually choose your fade time. Um, so let's go ahead and leave that on fully automatic at this point. Here you have your logging section. And over on the right side, um, this is important here. This is where you would actually um, enable and configure any external hardware that you might have. DEX does support um, a whole bunch of external uh, controllers, such as the DAC2, the DAC3. Also, all the Denon controllers, the 4500, the, uh, the S1200, and also the 2500. You would enable that there, and then you can click on Config, and it would bring up the, the page where you can... Um, do constant pitch bends. You can also change your effects for the different bu um, buttons and knobs. So it's a good thing to know what this general tab is. The keyboard will allow you to lay out your keyboard correctly. It also provides you with um, <clears throat> hot starts and, and various keyboard shortcut commands. Your vinyl control is where you would set up your time-coded vinyl. Um, PC DJ Dex does support right out of the box all the PC DJ, um, the, the, the Miss Pinky Generations, the Torque Vinyl, and then the Reflex Vinyl. Um, Dex also does support Virtual DJ and Serato Scratch Live. If you are interested in getting the plugins, which will allow you to use that time code, um, simply s send us an email or get on the message board and ask, and we'll send you the link for that. And Debug is um, basically for. Uh, crashes and all kinds of other things. Hopefully you, you won't have to go to the debug.